Hello everyone, today's video will be different. In this video, we will be discussing topic related to physics optional, not a topic of physics optional. So here we will be discussing the strategy. So let's get started. So first of all, we must know that we don't need perfection. This is the first line we all should know. Let's start our today's video. So what is our aim? Let's first know our aim. So we want to make to the merit list the physics optional score of 300 plus. So this is our aim. So if we know our aim, then we can very well make the strategy out of it. If you know your aim, then next what do you need to achieve that aim so you have to ask yourself from my perspective what you need to achieve this aim so these are the three things first you need clarity what to do second thing you must know is strategy how to do and then practice everyone knows practice is the key to get the results so third important thing is practice so we all need these three circles to achieve this aim so let's understand these three important pointers in little more detail so let's discuss clarity what does clarity mean so if you have two minds over the choice of optional subject then there's a lack of clarity if you're not able to convince yourself the choice of optional subject then you are failing at the very first step so please this is my humble request declutter yourself first so once you have convinced yourself with the choice of the optional subjects and you are clear and confident that this is going to be your optional subject then have faith in your decision and believe in yourself this is the most important thing you can tell yourself every time so if you have decided your optional subject and if that optional subject is physics then you can continue this watching because next we are going to discuss the follow-up approach to score 300 plus in this optional so let's move to the next thing that is how to do it the strategy the core part basically we are going to divide our preparation into two parts first theory or static part and second numerical or concepts so first you have to build strong hold on your theory part because while preparing your theory well what are the benefits you can get if you prepare your theory well first your majority of the formulas will be covered you will be able to solve some part of the numericals not full numericals at least you can solve midway simple numericals you can easily solve it but if they are difficult you can reach halfway if you have done theories well so first part will will benefit you in the other part as well so these are the dual benefits of preparing your theory well first it will help you achieve this aim and second it will help in numerical solving also so if you have prepared your theories you will remember some formulas at least so you will be able to at least solve the numericals 30 to 40 or 50 to 60 will be very good which will help you fetch some marks theory is the main core part if you are able to solve numericals as well it will fetch you some more marks additional brownie marks as well so first and foremost focus to master the theory part well so let's see if you have prepared your theory well how well can you score now we will see the implementation part of the strategy and now we will see how you will get the 300 plus score so let's apply this on last year's paper that is 2023 so before starting with the implementation part of the strategy i would like to share that many of you are requesting for handouts so we are here with the handouts you can buy either in parts or both at once so this way you can use your time smartly and prepare your theory well so to have these handouts there's a link in the description box you can go there and have it so don't miss the opportunity and make the maximum use of your time well so let's resume our application part of the strategy so now you can see on the screen it is a paper one of 2023 so let's see how we are going to score 300 plus if you are preparing your theory well so 
we are here with a table we are given with eight questions in each paper paper one and paper two question number one and five are compulsory we have to attempt it we have no choice so other than this we have options to attempt other three questions so let's move to the first question first part you can easily solve this we have to show whether the force is conservative or not so we will be solving this so we are allotting this 10 marks so next part is gravitational self energy of the earth I'm assuming you don't know the gravitational self energy. Who knows? They are getting the brownie points here. So let's move to the C part. Here we have to find the consequences of the Lorentz transformation on length and time. Length contraction and the time dilation derivation. You have to do it. So it's easy. So we are allotting 10 marks here. And the next. So in D part, we have to derive the refraction formula. So it's pure derivation. Allotting the whole 10 marks here. So E part here we have to draw the three and four level pumping schemes. So it is purely static part. So we have to draw the schematic diagrams also. So it's a derivation. So we will be allotting 10 marks. So we are attempting four parts out of five in first question. So we are getting 40 marks out of 50 in the first question. So let's get back to our table. We will be scoring 40 marks in the first question let's move to the second question so second question first a part here we have to derive the expression for gravitation potential outside a spherical shell and inside the it is derivation so we'll be allotting 10 marks whole second it's we have to calculate the escape velocity of the mass 10 kg so i'm allotting 5 marks 50 percent marks whoever is getting full marks they are getting extra points let's move to the second part b part I'm assuming you don't know the B part. So I'm taking this zero. I'm not giving any marks to this part. So let's move to C part. Here we have the, the quantities of rotatory motion are analogous to those of translatory motion. You have to write the corresponding translatory and rotatory motion equations. It is easy question. You can easily do that. So I'm allotting five marks to this. And this do two theorems. You can easily do that. So I'm allotting 10 marks. So let's calculate what total we are getting in the second question. So it's 10 plus 5, 15, 5, 20, and then 10, 30. We are getting 30 marks. So let's write it on the table, 30 marks out of 50. So let's move to the third question. We are allotting 15 marks total because first we have to derive the interference pattern conditions. Second is double slit experiment fringe width and the intensity at a point so you can easily derive this so it's purely theoretical question so let's move to second part third question b part here we have to prove that the separation of two colliding particles is same when observed in center of mass and laboratory systems so i am assuming zero marks to this question and second part determine the kinetic energy of a thin disk and radius rotating the 100 rotations omega the OA and around the axis passing through its center and perpendicular to its plane. So it's easy question, but I'm giving it two marks. So let's move to the C part. Here we have to write the equation for damped harmonic oscillations and obtain the expression for logarithmic decrement. So it's purely theory part, 10 marks question and the numerical part. In a damped harmonic oscillation, first amplitude is 10 cm, which reduces to 2 cm after 50 oscillations. Each of period 4 seconds. Determine the logarithmic decrement. Also calculate the number of oscillations in which the amplitude decreases to. Here's two parts, 5, 5 each. So I'm giving two marks only. It's easy. You can do it. If you have done this derivation, you can easily do this numerical, but I'm like giving it 2 out of 10 marks. So let's total the third question. So it's 12 to 14. 14 plus 15 is 29. So we are getting 29 marks here. So let's write. So we are getting 29 marks in this. So let's move to fourth. So fourth is write the conditions for the working of step index. It's theory question. Step index, optical fiber. In step index, the core and cladding materials have reflective index. You have to find the, these are the very simple parts. We are giving the 10 marks for conditions and the other is 10 marks so it's like i'm giving one to each part you can easily score well in numericals as well if you do your theory part let's move to the second b part define the streamline flow of a fluid you can easily do that using the equation of continuity for an isotropic 
fluid find the different components of total energy per unit volume so it's like different components pressure head energy kinetic energy potential energy all these so here it's an easy derivation you can easily score full marks here 15 marks and the c part you have to differentiate between fresnel and fraunhofer diffraction and uh, second what is the resolving power telescope i'm giving zero marks to this i'm assuming you don't know this so i am not giving any marks to this part so let's get the total for question number 4 5 15 20 20 14 is 34 marks you are so you getting 34 marks in question number 4 let's get to the other section of the paper that is section b question number 5 here we have five parts in it so like first is you have to find the energy stored in a system of four charges you are given the four charges placed at the four corners you are given the coordinates so you can easily find the energy stored one by one so i am giving 50% marks five marks in this and the next is 10 marks because it's a theory question you have to find the inductance per unit length of the two long parallel wires each of radius a separated by distance from the axial carrying equal and opposite current this like you have to derive the quantity equation from maxwell equations is 10 marks so it's 10 marks for the continuity equation part and the next is zeroth law of thermodynamics you have to introduce the concept of temperature so if you can state the zeroth law of thermodynamics and give the basic diagrams so i will be giving you two marks on this so next is 10 marks you have to write down the expression for fermi dirac and the bose einstein distribution and plot their distribution as a function of energy so i am assuming this you should know so this is 10 marks so let's get the total of the question number 5 12 22 32 32 5 is 37 so we are getting 37 marks in the fifth question let's move to the sixth one so first is the derivation we have to find the effective inductance when the two inductors have inductance so l1 and l2 are connected in parallel so have mutual inductance so i am giving it the derivation part 10 marks so next question next part is joule kelvin coefficient you have to derive the mathematical form and determine the joule kelvin coefficient it's like we have done this whole question it's very basic and very easy if you have once done this so it's like totally 15 marks to this and this c part pure derivation here like electric field is parallel to the plane of instance you have to derive the fresnel equations in brewster's law and so i'm giving 20 marks in this so it's like get the total of the question number 6 20 50 35 35 and 10 45 here i have given the 10 marks you can also score 15 in this so i am changing this you can score full marks in this like 20 15 15 you can easily score 50 marks in question number 6 so let's write so you are getting 50 marks in sixth question let's move to the seventh and eighth it's purely numerical based so i am skipping the seventh and eighth question since we have to attempt only five questions so so we are skipping the third question in which we are getting 29 marks is the lowest score we are getting in in any question so we are skipping this third question and now we are going to add the other five scores 40 30 34 37 and 50 so we are getting the total of 191 and we are giving the gross cut of 20 marks from the overall marks so we are getting the 171 from the paper one so let's do the same exercise for paper two so doing the same exercise for the paper two so let's see the question number one part a so it's a zero point energy infinite potential well you all know the zero point energy so we are given the mass and the distance it's an easy question but i am allotting one one marks to each since it's numerical second is three marks we have given the hamiltonian we have to write the energy expression we have to like just operate this on the on the wave function i am giving is to 30 percent marks to this two marks to this le part if you are writing the stern gerlach like the formula that we are deriving in the theory part so i am giving this to two marks out of 10 so it's like i am giving the minimal score to the numericals this is also magnetic moment two marks 2 2 2 6 6 3 9 9 3 12 so we are getting 12 marks out of 50 in the first question let's write it So we are getting the 12 marks in the first question. So let's see the second. So I am skipping the second question. So I am moving to the 
third part straight so in third question this is the vector atom model we have to write whole the principal features of vector atom model that were explained by stern gerlach experiment so it's theoretical question you can easily explain this it's just 15 marks the third question b part landage effector what is you have to define the landage effector and you have like calculate the landage effector for this 3p1 level so i'm giving 10 marks out of 15 so i'm skipping this marks for third part so let's move to the c part here we have to define the raman effect and explain the quantum theory so i'm giving it whole 20 marks on this so let's get the total of third question so it's like 30 and 15 is 45 we are scoring quite high in the third part we are skipping the second which we are getting 45 marks so let's move to the fourth question we are also skipping the fourth question so let's move to the fifth question how can you differentiate between anti neutron and neutrino helicity so you have to define this helicity property here so i am giving total it's a theory question 10 marks i am giving 2 marks like 20% marks to this and this the decays 5 marks 50% marks if you are able to predict 5 correctly out of 10 there are the condition of reciprocal lattice concept is is purely theoretical so i am giving 10 marks to d part and let's move to e fermi level shifts closer to the conduction band in n type and shift downwards in the p type so it's theory question so let's get the total of question number 5 20 10 10 25 27 37 we are getting decent score in fifth so we are skipping the fourth one and we are getting 37 marks in the fifth question so in sixth a part we have to derive the rutherford scattering cross section formula for alpha particles so it's theory question 20 marks i'm skipping the b part it's numerical and we are attempting c part this is what you understand by nuclear forces i explain the meson theory of exchange it's easy so we are getting the 35 marks 20 plus 15 in sixth so let's write it so we are getting 35 marks in sixth question let's move to seventh we can still skip one question so we are skipping most probably we are skipping the eighth one so seventh is we have to explain the classical theory of diamagnetism show that the susceptibility of diamagnetic is directly proportional to the atomic number it's like theoretical derivation so i am giving 10 marks why all the electrons and atoms contribute to diamagnetism i am assuming you don't know this so it's still it is of 2 marks but i am giving 10 marks on this you should know this it's very important so i am giving 20 marks seventh question b part and let's move to c vein bridge of oscillator so you can do it from my notes it's very well explained there so 7 c part you can score 15 marks in this so let's get the total of the question number 7 15 plus 20 35 35 10 is 45 you're getting good score in the seventh question so you are getting 45 marks in seventh question and we are skipping the eighth one so let's get the total so we get the total of 174 and we are making the gross cut of 20 marks so we are getting the total of 154 in paper 2 of physics so let's get the net total of paper 1 in paper 2 171 in paper 1 and in paper 2 154 so we are getting a net total of 325 so we are getting the 300 plus score if you can apply previous years as well so you will be getting the same results if you are doing this strategy right way if you are with me till now so you are quite serious about your optional and your exam also so please implement this strategy seriously and you will definitely get the results and if you want to have like go to thing to have the theory part so i have made the notes based on the previous year analysis and the syllabus oriented you don't have to refer the multiple books here multiple resources so you don't have to waste your time it's like you have to invest in this and let's start the practice from the very first day i hope you like the video and thanks for watching this video till here and if you have any doubts you can write me in the comment box and i will try to make video on them as soon as possible and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video